Hi guys, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. Today I'm going to make another wig video for you. This is a different-ish wig video because this is the second human hair wig that I've ever received. All the other wigs were um, synthetic hair. So I'm going to open this up and show you. Um, I just opened it, but then I was like, why am I opening it not on camera? I should be doing this on camera. Um, this is elvahairwigs.com and I was contacted by a lovely lady named Cherry and she described to me um, about the company, you know, about like how they sell wigs and um, there's a lot of different options that are all pretty much just different textures. Um, the majority of them are all black and dark brown um, and I, w I did want a lighter colored wig um, because I'll tell you what I plan to do with it but they only had darker colors so I was like well I can work with that um, so what I actually did want to do in the future is make a video of me testing out how to balayage a human hair wig which is gonna be very experimental because I've never seen anyone do it before um, but human hair should lift pretty much the same as human hair does um, and if it doesn't it either just has been processed differently or mixed with synthetic hair you know I'm just kinda testing it out but this video is just gonna be a review it's just gonna be me opening this box and showing you off the wig putting it on and telling you about it it comes in this black box there's nothing on the box it just it's a black box and they provide you with a wig cap this wig cap is the one that's kind of like an o, like a big like hole that you put your head through like this and then you pull it up over your head from there to put on the wig cap and then here's the wig it all comes in like another bag so it's very dark but it's I, I chose a straight wig because I feel like straighter hair is just more manageable for me um, because I have straight hair and I have better products on my shelf for straight hair versus curly hair products that I need to maintain this wig with. I do work in a hair salon, so I, I could I do have access to that, but at home use, you know, I, I want to work with what I'm used to. The um, inside of the wig is the type of wig that I really like. So some wigs actually have like openings, like little slits in between their wefts and you can stick your fingers through but the problem with that is if you have a clip in your hair or something it can pull the hair through the wig to the inside and that will make it itchy or that will just take away from the wig's hair on the outside this wig is actually very well made it's it's like pre-cut I can already tell it's pre-cut because there's layers in there it's not too bulky and blunt I don't think that they tell me which wig it is that they sent me but I will get that information and have it in the description if they provide it. It has all the same amount of clips as well. The ones on the side, one on the crown, and one on the nape. And um, it's, a, it's a lace front wig, so the front is partable wherever you want to see the part. And it's, um, very, it's a very well made wig. So I don't know where they where they ship from, but this wig actually arrived really soon. Um, I want to say they actually shipped it out maybe four days ago. There was a complication with my uh, address. I gave them the wrong address, so I had to contact um, DHL, and then they fixed it for me. But um, the wig came very, very quickly, quicker than other wigs have come. I do feel like this wig is a little bit smaller, like the, the head size is a little bit smaller than what I have been used to. Also, I haven't cut the lace front yet. No, this wig actually fits just fine. Just ignore the fact that this um, is in front, because that looks pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, this, this is what it looks like. Um, so these... I think this company is, uh, they sell wigs for ethnic hair and um, the the baby hairs in the front are cut very like generously so that it's meant to be gelled down with um, like for edges um, so that 
you can wear your hair like that. I know that if I were to do that, I would probably get hate. Um, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but just to note that these baby hairs are there for laying your edges if you do that. I kind of feel like Morticia with this hair. It's actually not black. It appears black on camera. But it's, um, it's like a... It's like a very, very dark brown. If anything, it's like my mom's natural color. It's like Filipino girl hair. <laughs> and I'm half pinai, but I'm not full, so I look very pale. But yeah, this hair is like a really, really good, comfortable length. I wouldn't, I actually, I don't think I'm going to cut it. I thought I was going to have to, but um, it's really nice and gently blended. Mmm. No shedding, actually. I thought I felt shedding, but I can't... Oh, there's one hair. But that's because I was really trying to pull. Um, wigs, like, I, I think human hair wigs will shed more for some reason. Because there's... I, I don't know. Because synthetic hair is, like, much more easily put in there in full strands. Whereas human hair... You have to sort of blend it together with multiple different people's donations of hair. And you end up getting shorter pieces next to longer pieces. I don't know if this is Remy or not either. Remy is when the hair is filtered through and then provided like uh, the top of the hair strand is the top and the bottom is the bottom so that the cuticle all lays the same way. It creates a smoother finish to the hair and this hair feels really smooth. It's probably been chemically altered um, as a wig because like usually that's what they'll do before sending out a wig is like they prepare it with chemicals like to make the wig what it is. Um, that's a normal thing but <clears throat> before I color it I'm going to clarify it just to make sure that everything is out of the wig that could possibly uh, chemically mess up the hair. I feel like I'm just going on and on and on and ranting. I'm sorry. But, yeah, I actually really do like this wig. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it. I thought about getting a curly one because they're fun. And then I was just like, I think that if I want curls, I can add curls. Because it's human hair, it can handle curls if I ha have heat protection on it. But for now, this will do. Um, I really do want to add some, like, caramel balayaged, like, lighter pieces into there. And I will 100% definitely make a video of me doing that. If I have the video up by now, I will provide that on the um, the end screen. Like at the end of this video, it'll pop up. Or you can see it right there. If you have any questions about this wig, comment them below. This is not the last video I'm making with this wig. This is honestly just a first impression uh, re wig review. I really think it's great quality. So um, the link is in the description for elvahairwigs.com so that company it's a pretty good company yay <laughs> um never had a dark human hair wig before and now i do and i'm very excited to play with it also i have a ton of other wig videos so um you can click on the other wig and hair related videos that i have popping up on the screen right now thank you elva hair so much Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the next video I make because I feel like that one's really, really going to be like a fun video. And um, it, who knows, it could be a fail. But yeah, um, please comment below, subscribe, like this video, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay epic. Bye.